We have one Mary. Hello. Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear us? I can hear you, but I can't see you. You can't see me. Okay. Um, start video. See me now? Good. Have it. Okay. Now I can see you. Are others going to be joining through Zoom, Frank? The Zoom link? I'll give you the number right here. Don't you have Zoom on your machine? You just click Zoom and then it'll say join a meeting. What do you got? Anything? I can't get into my school email account here for some reason on this machine. Hey, Mary. Yes. Can you send Stephen on his email the link for the meeting? He doesn't have it. Okay, hold on. She's going to send you the link. You want the ID number? 912-06-11-23-00. Password? Four, capital G, two, capital S, capital H, lowercase m. Sally is not on. She sent me an email that she doesn't have a link. Hold on one second for her. Okay. I have one, two, three board members. I'm waiting for Katie. Katie would be four. <laughs> We don't have a flag. Rachel has the flag. <laughs> well, see, you did get to see us in person. It's not deja vu. Okay, so I'm going to turn this out of my mind. I have to get into board docs. Otherwise, board docs. I'm in. I'm ready. Everybody in board docs? Yeah. Good. I'm there. Frank, could you do a roll call when you're set um, and ready? I don't have a quorum yet. I only have three. Okay. Frank, I'm here online. Okay, so I have four. But I don't have my phone in front of Kitty. <laughs> Thank 
Kelly's there now. Yes. Meeting password four, capital G, two, capital S, capital H, lowercase m. <clears throat> I don't think any member of the public is logging in. Yes, we did. I think it was posted last night on the Facebook page. How are you? Good. Pretty close. Really? He's got these cars outside he wants to sell. <laughs> Our bridge down in Brooklyn. Are we ready? <laughs> okay, I guess we have four board members present, three present, one remote. Kelly is remote. Uh, Sherry and Kelly will be here sometime. So if we call the meeting to order, if we can stand and salute the flag, and the only flag I see is Rachel's. Okay, Frank, before you go on, could you tell me what board members are participating in the meeting right at this point? At this point, I have Rachel, Jeff, Kelly, and myself, Kelly being remote. Yes, okay. I'm here. Thank you. Okay, at this time, Mary, um, I didn't bring my phone, so I don't have the results. Could you read the results for the vote? Yes. We had a total of 1,161 ballots counted. The budget passed 712 yes to 442 no. The bus proposition passed 683 yes to 470 no. Derek Gardner was newly elected as a board member with 882 votes, and Frank Swack was reelected with 842 votes. And I just wanna say thank you to all of those that participated, not only the voters, but the people that came and counted last night, and also my coworkers who helped me put this in the mail. Uh, thank you, Mary. And we have two other board members just came, Katie and Sherry. So we'll let them log in. Let me know when you're set.
Um, only if you're going to talk to Kelly, but of that you don't have to. If you speak loud enough, I think Steven's computer will pick it up. Okay. All right, we'll move along and you can catch up. Uh, at this time, could I have a motion to approve the April 21st minutes? Is there a second? Any Who discussion did the first? Those? Jeff? Sorry. Jeff did the first. Okay. Rachel did the second. Okay. Any questions? Kelly? No. Uh, questions? no. Okay, Ke Kelly's and Kelly's and I. Katie? Yeah. Sherry? Yeah. Rachel? Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. And I'm a yes. Six yes, Mary, on the April 21st minutes. Could I have a motion for the May 20th minutes? Katie made the motion. Sherry seconded it. Any questions? Kelly, how do you vote? Aye. Katie? Yeah. Mary? Yeah. Rachel? Yeah. Jeff? Yeah. And I'm a yes. Six yes, Mary, on that May okay. 20th minutes. And the next time I have the consent agenda items. If there's no questions on the consent agenda items, I'll look for a motion on motion. Full person. We can comment once I take the motion. Is there a motion on M for all of them? Is there a second? You're on. The personnel actions I'd like to um, introduce to the board for the very first time are our next middle school, high school principal, Ms. Jody Sullivan. Uh, Jody has come to us from after the extensive search of over 30 candidates, and the committee was very impressed with all of her credentials and experiences and her background. She does have a bachelor's degree in adolescent education in English from uh, Princeton, a master's degree in literacy from the University of Albany, and she completed the Leadership Academy for School Administration at uh, Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts. So right now, she's stepping down as the assistant principal of Naperville Junior High School, who you see in her school in Florida, where she has been in there as that in that position since 2017. Uh, prior to that, she served nine years as a teacher and teacher leader in the Chatham School District. Uh, so I'm, I'm very pleased to welcome her to our administrative team. And I think she will be off to a very neat start on July 1st, which I think will top Tracy's start, <laughs> which she has no office. Uh, at this point, we have no school. <laughs> so it's a little, little bit more difficult to overcome. I'm sure she's going to be uh, running uh, with uh, full speed ahead. Yeah. Um, so welcome very much uh, from all of us um, to the district. And uh, we really appreciate you uh, filling in for our long-time leader, Dr. Kathy Lake, who will be Leaving us temporarily, I think, is the fact to be here for quite a while. So I think the two of you will get together at some point over the next couple of months, and uh, we will welcome that mentoring and strengthen mentor relationship. So welcome, Jody. Um, welcome. Did 
changes daily around here. <laughs> Is there any comments on anything else on the consent agenda? Kelly, how do you vote? Yes. Katie, yeah. Sherry, yeah. Rachel, yeah. Jeff, yeah. and I'm a yes. Six yes, Mary. Okay, thank you. Now, one thing, if Dr. Young speaks again, he'll need to unmute himself. At least that's the note I'm getting on my screen. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let me speak. All right. That's Sorry, Mayor. <laughs> That's all right. There's a little thing that comes up that says, you know, ask to unmute. And I thought I had done that, but, you know. Oh. Okay. We're all I'm set, nervous. I think, now. Okay, moving along. Uh, I'm not used to running a full meeting, so it's been electronic, you can hide. Looking over the past few months and talking to the administrators and thanking everyone personally, I thought it was appropriate uh, to put a motion in front of the board. At the meeting of June 17, 2020, the Board of Education of the Berlin Central School District hereby, whereas federal, state, and county declarations of emergency emergencies due to COVID-19 and resulting in school closures have pres presented extraordinary challenges for each and every school administrator in the district, quote, the administrative team. Whereas the administrative team has met those challenges with an extraordinary effort and dedication to the district's students, staff, and community partners. Now, therefore, it be resolved that the board hereby commends and extends its sincere appreciation and gratitude to the entire administrative team, including Dr. Kathy Lane, middle school, high school principal, Samantha Brewer, director of exceptional education, Karen Capazzi, business manager, Cyril Grant, superintendent of buildings, Fred Hutchinson, director of curriculum instruction and assessment, Tracy Kent, elementary school principal, Dr. Stephen Young, superintendent of schools, Mary Grant, board of, of education clerk, Jeanette Alderman, supervisor of transportation. Without these key individuals in place, I don't believe we could have successfully done what we've done this spring. You've given up weekends, nights, extraordinary amount of time, and it hasn't gone unnoticed. I think each and every board member has commented on what you've done, and it's filtered down to the staff what the staff has done, both educational and non-educational. Um, we should be proud of it. And I think the support of the community in our budget vote shows um, a great support for education in this district. Does any other board member would like to comment on top of that? Thank you. Who would like to make the motion? Okay, so who made the motion, Frank? Katie made the motion, Sherry seconded. I can email you a copy of that tomorrow, or I'm give a copy. I did to um, Dr. Young. Thank you. Oh, Mary, can you um, let Sherry join Zoom? Certainly. Are you there? She's in. Okay, great. Kelly, how do you vote? Yes. Katie, yeah. Sherry, yeah. Rachel, yeah. Jeff, yeah. and I'm a yes. And thank you on behalf of the board again. Other than that, I haven't been around to really say much, so I'm going to leave it up to the superintendent. My turn? Your turn. Mary, can you hear me? Now I can, yes. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, residents for the approval of the budget. Uh, I don't know how nervous you guys were, but um, I was without sleep for quite a while, um, not knowing how, how it would turn out. Uh, for the first time, we've ever had to have a mail-in ballot um, as the entire vote. We had, I think, 4,100 ballots go out. And with that large amount of number, I was not thinking very clearly that the budget would pass. But um, 
again, overwhelmingly, I think we have the support of the community um, when you look at those those numbers. Not only did the budget pass, but the bus referendum passed, which again, I didn't, again, think it would pass. Uh, we had some, some information going out there on Facebook, uh, people wouldn't vote for it. And, but finally they came to their senses and, and voted yes. Uh, and then of course, finally, congratulations to you, Frank, and to uh, Derek Gardner for, uh, Gardner for uh, being elected to the school board. Um, my other comments will be kind of short. I don't wanna take up too much time because I'm gonna limit, I hope, the administrative comments to three minutes or less, um, which would be nice. We know how some people can talk for a little while. A little while. So uh, yesterday was the last day of school, uh, ended very well. Today was the last day for teachers uh, and we got to see a lot of them today. Uh, today, as you, as you may know or may not know, people were coming by not only to say goodbye, but to pick up all of the items left in school uh, several months ago. And they did a remarkable job. Uh, and just seeing the teachers come and help out and the students and their parents in their cars, I mean, that I think gave us a little bit more of a refreshing uh, refreshment since uh, we hadn't seen people in, in three months um, or so. So it was very nice to see that happen. Um, there's no real update at this point on reopening in schools. Uh, most of you know that we hope to open in September, but we have to get information from the State Education Department Task Force, who will be actually meeting next week in this area, in this region. Um, and there are, I think, seven or eight different regions that they have to go to. Uh, by July 15th, we're supposed to get some kind of document outlining what some of the recommendations are. Uh, so although we will wait until that day, we're gonna start probably next week planning on what we could do to open whether or not that's going to be an A day, B day, or half the kids come in on one, half, half the kids come in on the other. It might be a total virtual model, it might be a hybrid model of, of instruction. Um, we just don't know the specifics of how to do that, but we could still plan on what we have to do and, 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 and teach come September. So that's, that's gonna begin uh, next week, if not next week, the first week in July. Uh, very quick construction update. Last week, the fields were inspected by uh, the architects, the landscape architect, Cyril Grant, myself, uh, and uh, Josh Weaver. And then again today, we re-inspected with um, Art Schmidt, who you know has been with us in the sports department for many, many, many years. Uh, at this point, the fields look like they're ready to go except for the grass. So all of the water issues that we had seem to have been resolved by the contractor. It looks very, well, it's now very dry, but just the, we won't be accepting it until the grass grows. So the uh, fields, that's the baseball field and the soccer field are, are being mowed and they look very good, except there's a lot of patches that aren't taking root yet. So we still get another season out of, out of the growth. So we won't be really playing on those until uh, a year from, from the fall. Um, so the track is beautiful. Uh, we are up there today again. It's, it's one of the best, it is the best track in Rensselaer County according to um, a lot of people. The only problem is we have too many people wanting to get access to that track and we really have to uh, kick people off uh, at this point because it's not open. It's not open to the public, uh, and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look at getting the signs up saying it's still under construction. Uh, same with the basketball court. Um, so we, we still have a little work to do with getting the word out that no, it's not open to the public quite yet. Maybe by the end of of the summer it, it will be. Um, as far as the other construction um, is going, 
I do again encourage you when you leave, um, take a look at what's happening. The buildings, both buildings are, I would say in um, not only a state of demolition and, and disrepair, um, but some of the rooms are actually resembling rooms now. Um, it's just a remarkable uh, amount of work that was done, uh, more of course to do, but I believe we will uh, certainly be open for September. Uh, whether or not the kids come back, the building will be ready um, by September. Um, so that's where we stand with that. The, the, the last is the bus uh, maintenance facility. Um, if you go drive by, go around the back if you, if you want. The, all the foundation is laid out. Some of the underground piping has already been put in place for the waste. Uh, the waste electrical conduits have been put underground. Um, the steel has arrived on site. I think I haven't been up there this week yet. Maybe maybe Cyril might be able to add a couple more items to that. But it's going to move quite along once once they get once they get that steel um, being put up. Uh, and I think it's going to be a, a beautiful facility again. Uh, much, much needed in, in terms of it coming to the Berlin Central School District. And uh, I'm just going to say a little bit about graduation. We are going to have the live graduation. I think Dr. Elaine uh, was uh, able to predict that a long time ago. She never stopped telling us we're having a live graduation. And she would, she would not stop. Uh, and finally, she must have uh, put a special word into Governor Cuomo's ear because he finally relented and said, you can have 150 people at the graduation. And that's what we're going to have, 150. Uh, so everything is planned out July, uh, June 26th, 7 p.m., right? Yes. Okay, that's my report. Thank you. Thank you. I was more than three minutes, but that's, I'm allowed. Hey, I think Jeff, I'm... Well, I've been reading everything that's been coming out, and uh, it changes pretty much every time I read it. Uh, like you said, there's all these different models that we may be stuck with. I've been reading on the sports teams, you know, what game, what uh, low risk sports that may be allowed to open. And the list doesn't remain constant very often. You know, I'm a little confused. Field hockey is allowed, but soccer is not. That was the last thing I read. But we don't have field hockey, as far as I know. Uh, Basketball is definitely no. Uh, soccer is probably no. Wrestling is a definite no. I haven't heard anything about swimming, since that's not been on a list. But uh, that doesn't leave a whole lot of activities. You've got softball and baseball. And but they, they had cross country, but they didn't have track and field. Or has that changed? We'll know. <laughs> yeah, I, well. We would just be finishing track now, but come, come the fall, that'll be cross country. Okay. So, because I think they're planning it. Everything is fluid. Yeah, well. So that's all I got. Keep your fingers I'm crossed. Really reporting anything. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Moving on to administrators. Berlin Elementary. Uh, today was the final day of school for students at Berlin Elementary. Um, we held our fifth grade graduation ceremony this morning. We held three separate ceremonies, um, 9, 10, and 11 o'clock, that we took appropriately social distance. And it came together really nicely. Um, I think given the circumstances and the fact that typical of what would be our typical graduation, um, it was still a, a nice way to honor and celebrate our students and their families. So I'm just happy to get that this morning. Um, and then this afternoon, we had um, the opportunity for families to come and drop off materials, pick up materials, um, and just have a friendly wave and you know, one last goodbye to teachers as we head into the summer. Um, staff was well represented. Families were excited to see people face to face at a distance. So uh, it's 
So I feel like today is, you know, putting the final clothes on this current school year and now turning to the next one. Thank you. Middle school, high school. I can't see. <laughs> um, so, uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but it's very last hard. Last night we did a recording of our middle school, high school award ceremony. It was pre recorded by several members of the staff to hand out all of the varied awards that we would typically give out during the day at our ceremony. So, we did that last night. In addition to departmental awards, key awards, all of that. That was all done virtually last night and, and put out to announce all of the awards. Then tonight, the eighth grade awards and slash moving on ceremony was done virtually. That was planned long before uh, we knew if we'd be able to have a live graduation. And the thinking at that point was that we wanted to make sure that eighth grade didn't outdo the high school. So we stuck with that plan because we were not sure if things could turn around at the drop of a hat. So we stuck with that plan. And uh, again, there were pieces that were recorded by the staff. And then, oh, I'm sorry. There were pieces that were recorded by the staff and then put out. I know that there's a link on, I think, both the website and Facebook. So that, that should be available to everyone. Uh, today we did our drive-through, drop-off, pick-up, and I was amazed at how many people came and, and took care of business. And I really think the same as, as what Tracy had to say, the, Kids were so excited to see the staff, and I know the staff felt the same way. We probably had three quarters of our staff represented today. Uh, it was it was we were in direct sun the entire time. I'm sure you were as well. I mean, it was draining, but it was so wonderful to see the kids, to see their families. Uh, they stayed in the cars. They moved through the parking lot and then went through the bus run loop and uh, stayed in their cars the entire time. And it was, it was great. It was a great way to end the year. Um, a week from Friday, um, the 26th, as originally planned at 7 p.m., we will hold graduation. Uh, my inspiration to stick to it was class president McKenna Jansen. Uh, McKenna wrote to me early on and said, I have been talking to the other members of my class, and they are begging that we just hang in there and not give up and plan a different kind of, of graduation. Many of us, and I'm paraphrasing, she said, many of us have been together since we were kindergarten, since we were in kindergarten, and we just want to graduate together. And I think, as, as I think about Thing and Jody stepping in, that really depicts who our kids are. They, were, they really want to graduate together. It's really important to them. And they do have that pride of graduating together. So I'm super excited they'll be able to do it. I know families are disappointed that there will only be two members of the family that will be able to accompany them. Because, um, because the number is really close to that 150. But um, fortunately, all of our kids will be graduating. They will be able to have two guests. We'll work it out. And we do have um, a member of the alumni that is a, video, a professional videographer who is going to come and help us out with to be able to live stream it so that people will be able to Coordinator always does a great job. She 
has a bazillion things planning, probably the biggest challenge is saying, we're going to care and don't forget, uh, stick to one thing, and we have to stick to several things. So, um, you know, terrific job, and your planning will be great. Thank you. And once again, thank you for everything you've done to the district and the students. And, your, and I hope you enjoy your retirement. Sherry? I'd just like to thank you. On behalf of the board, um, I'm going to try not to get emotional. Everyone knows that uh, Kathy and I have been friends for a long time. And uh, I just, you have touched so many lives. You have how many years of the district? I have 24 years of the district. 24 years of the district. And many of you are home. Wait a minute. Aren't you going to get Elbows. <laughs> Next week you'll be allowed to do that. Our performance in all of our subgroups and 
Um, so what it means for us is that, um, and I would hope none of this would start until the fall. Um, so again, we'll look at what the fall looks like that could change. Um, but we will receive, um, you know, we'll have a piece of data now that now we just have to develop an improvement plan. plan. Um, um, we'll receive some embedded for infrastructure development um, from the Capital Detroit Regional Partnership Center. This was formally the task of the Walker structure last year. Um, so we'll be able to receive some more information from them. From them. Um, I have, um, I have, I have, I have, I have, I have, I know um, you know what our standing is. So in this time, they're really starting to find out what areas might be areas for us. And here we, um, and here we, um, and here we, 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 what, what, what years were they considering for I yes. identification? So we're in our 18th and and again, so and then got it. I have all the faith and confidence in the world. <laughs> 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 The mindset of the teacher, you know, like really, really, you know, really um, in instruction, in instruction, the play with the classroom, um, and elements of that, and elements of that, um, you know, were in important and we have identified it as an area, you know, what people need, um, it's in different district, district, and plan, you know, we see a structure, structure, um, a public health, and health, and school, school, and program offering, offering, um, so I think a lot of, a lot of this has, has, you know, they went in place, I think, you see a beautiful improvement, um, you know, I know one of the, I I tried to frustrate all of these all of these like that that you're always that you're always kind of working like years behind. You know, you right know, where right. I guess you're here. Can you hear me? Right, that's right. It's like two years behind. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, I just get out of the meeting. But I think we won't have to see any parts of the room. You have a form, right? But like I said, you know, like, you know, with our aspect. Now just come back for executive. I'm going to do an executive session. I'll try and do it then, but it's thank you. It's Curriculum and instruction. Oh, I I'm sorry. I'm going to go over three minutes. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I I'll take three from time. Everybody. Um, and so. Cyril's time too. <laughs> 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 I got that permission. Though. So, um, so um, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, so, um, we have everything to do with that. I did just want to update the board on where we can stand with our extended year. Uh, um, you know, this is going to be the year that our Google and Google are going to have an actual extended year, summer program for our ability, ability, and all this. And all this um, so, Dr. Young and I had you know, several conversations, you know, we get together a Zoom meeting, uh, uh, how do you tell, tell, you know, where they. You know, you know, kind of kind of about the state of the project, all of that, 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 all of
just got the funding for it. Correct. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
card. Or bring the end of the year and the other the year together. And that red card, that red card, that jury, 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 that uh, so, I think that would be the way we're wrapping up. Again, our our staff in the IT and all the transportation in the service. And I know we and a lot of other staff. I don't know if that's going to be a great You know, this entire time I'm going to pull up. You know, seriously, through March 16th, I met with those three ladies. My assistance or interference, however you look at it, has been minimal this entire time. They just sit around and grab a whole bunch of this and you know, ran with it, ran down, and on top. Additionally, business office staff, we are in such a great place for everything to have been. Okay, we're just waiting. Okay, we're just waiting. We're going to take your money. We're not 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 going to take your money. We're uh, uh, payroll, we've already figured out how we're going to buy, you know, we'll all spring break and all of that, and we're through that, we've already figured that out, you know, getting what, 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 um, IT team helping out the process, process, process of getting with the principals and finding out the status of those Chromebooks, uh, you know, the devices that went out, moved calculators and other things. And um, I just I'm really proud of how everyone, you know, came together for this. I mean, even with the, the, the other staff being the monitor today and you know, who helped out with food service, there was. Hardly a complaint, or you know, I mean, it's really a group effort for this one. And I think that we put up the bell and we'll see what Jody, would you like to say something? Um, everyone works together and it shows that um, it's actually a fun place to be here. And, and the board, I can't thank the board enough. Um, the board has been very supportive of what I put in front of them. Uh, they all work together. We do talk, we vote, we want to vote, and we move on. Uh, there's no personal agendas here. Uh, this is an extraordinary board, and I'm very proud of this board, each and every member, what they contribute. And there's a lot of talent here, so the board is very supportive because we have someone that we can entrust, not question, and that goes a long ways. Um, even though I get steeped up early in the morning, <laughs> that's got to stop. <laughs> I've got to get my work done before I go to work. <laughs> I'm barely out of the shower. You got to get your waterproof phone. <laughs> It is a good place, and I'm, I'm very proud of this board and, and the administrators and the entire staff. There's a lot of deserving kids in this valley. I'd like to add to that. I think that um, the community has been outstanding. Um, 
you know, you, you have always those few people that complain no matter what. But let me tell you, the community has really just, just um, praised the district. And they've been very pleased on what we've done over this pandemic. And, um, you know, I have the opportunity to be a different school district, the things that we do and the things that they do. And I, I just in the administration, and I think just the community support has been fantastic as well. Extraordinary. I don't think we have any old business. I don't know if we have any public comment. Uh, Actually, Frank, before you move on, oh, I see Mary talking. I've hey, been hey, asked. Hey. Can you hear me? Now oh. I can. Okay. Yes, muted my. I've been asked to have one board member volunteer to hand out diplomas on graduation night. Could be two. All right. Okay. now there could be two. Uh, no, one second, please. Uh, Rachel expressed an interest. She has a family member graduating. Okay. Okay. So, Rachel Finney? Yeah. Rachel, and if no one else wants to do it, I'll do it. And Frank. Okay. Okay, thank you. Karen. <laughs> Much better said. I meant to say that. Much better said. Yeah. I meant to say that. <laughs> okay. Um, on the reorganizational meeting, I had a request to change the date because we have some board members in school. We need to find out from Mary what flexibility Mary has for the date. I guess it, as long as it's before the I've 15th get of July. Up. You know, by law, it's supposed to be the first Tuesday, which is July 7th. But you have to hold it before the 15th of July. So it has to be after the 7th and be, no later than the 15th? Correct. Um, and you'll also have to vote on that. Wednesday the 8th? Is that is it Wednesday and 8th? I don't have my calendar. Yes, Wednesday is the 8th. The 8th fine? Rachel? Kelly, is the 8th fine with you? She got off. Well, I'll have to ask her through email. Okay, well, I have a form that says, Sherry, the 8th is good? Okay, the 8th is good? We'll go the 8th? Okay. In our library, I mean, yeah, our library, there are rooms. Are we going to be doing an in-person? Is that how you're going to do it? Yes. Westar has their organizational meetings and everything moved to personal now, uh, keeping distance. Okay. Is there anything else that anyone would like to bring up before we go into the executive session? Um, it's just a, a comment about the track business. Um, I'm sure that if we send out some kind of communicate, the track will be open the track will be open for the public to use. Right, the public to use. right now, it's still in construction. I mean, if you put it on Facebook, put it on, I mean, if you on Facebook, put it on our web page, that most people very understand. We can do that. You know, um, no. Yeah, Ray, Rachel Turetsky and, and Jason, well, no longer Jason, but our new communications person comes on board July 1st. We will be kind of putting something out there, maybe even in the Eastwick Press. It, I mean, it's not a lot of people, but it's enough to, to, to worry us that once you see a couple people on there, then it's, oh, it's open. Let's go. And you can't. And it is exciting, and I think we get ahead of the game. Hey, it's going to be open to all, you know, all of the community, but it's not quite finished. You know, can we wait? We'll have our grand opening. Just some kind of thing. We were, I don't know. I think we were thinking the end, the end of August, right, Cyril? We were talking middle of August, 
right now we're discussing with them about the grass and about mm -hmm. the outside. That's mm -hmm. that type of thing. We're trying to work out what that contract is. But then they also have to look at the track and the basketball court and all that application. I've got a lot of those things in order to finish it up and take a discussion about what we have you know, in order to make sure the surface is not dirty. So if they have to put down more on dirty, so that they have to put it on more material correctly, more here, those kinds of things like those kinds of things can't have to be on the track. Um, so we recognize that we recognize that we kind of support that class. Do we have any barrier tape on the way up there? We've got all the gates locked to the um they jump over the gate. Yeah. They climb they climb the gate. Good grief the top of the fence. Then I'll take a motion for an executive session. Second. Okay, and who was that, Frank? I couldn't hear. So everybody's. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight and do enjoy the time off when you get it. <laughs> Kathy's going to write a book and send you an email how to enjoy time. Mary, do you think, oh, hold on, do you think Kelly's going to zoom if I? Yeah. Start my Zoom, she'll come back. Yes, I've already um, emailed her to say you were winding down. So, did you send out the information? Yeah, I, I, I sent them out. So, it's a Google Meets, though, it's not a Zoom. Okay. So, hopefully, she has Google Meets on her. All right, let, let me tell her that. Could yeah, let me, me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and start it now from my calendar. All right. You'll probably tell me to kick her, to kick her off the others. But... Okay. Dr. Young, can you tell me who did the motion for executive session? I couldn't hear. Will this be a new Zoom meeting, Stephen? Or what's that? Will this be a new Zoom meeting? This, well, this is, this is, no, this is, this is a Google Meet meeting. And am I supposed to stay on? No, no, we're going to be out before it's dark. Okay, I need a little more direction. Frank, could you tell me who did the motion for executive session? Please tell me that's Marvel. Of course it is. Just asking. Just asking. Just asking. Yeah. Oh, I have two Kelly case acts now. Well, there you are. Hi, Kelly. So, hold on. Let me move. There. You're fine. I can actually X out now. Yeah. Oh. I have two two cameras going on at the same time. That's weird. That's because we're still in Zoom. Yeah, well, I'm going to get out of Zoom right now. But okay. I'm in both. I'm in Zoom and I'm in Google Meets. Yeah, so what am I supposed to do? Uh, I think you can go home. Okay, I want to make yeah, sure. We're, we're not, yeah. <laughs> Unless you want to stay there and, and we'll... We'll come no, back. I, we'll, Frank will take notes. And I'll send them. And we'll send them. Okay. Just like normal. Okay, thank right? you. So we'll Mary. Lock this out of Zoom. Yep. Have a good weekend. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy your camping trip. Thank I you. Hope you're packed up already. Well, mostly. <laughs> All right. All right. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, Mary.